Heritage. I'm part of Train Collie. Uh, you can visit us on www.traincollie.com if you want more information on what type of training that we're providing out here in South Florida. Uh, so for today's class, what we're going to work on is concentrating on your double sticks and striking with purpose and intention. One of the things that I often find in watching double stick and in teaching double stick is a lot of times people are actually just going through the motions, not paying attention. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to install a culture of making sure that your strikes are precise, making sure that you have intention uh, between each strike instead of just kind of just well in the way, now we want to have intention. What am I hitting? Am I hitting the hand? Am I hitting the head? Am I hitting the legs? Um, so what we're going to work is double stick drills just to get warmed up and then after that we're going to introduce double sticks versus uh, single stick. The single stick is to allow the person to allow the person who's doing the double stick to break their concentration and to pretty much have them focus on their intention. You guys are doing the heaven six, this is what I'm saying. You guys are swinging way up here, right? <clears throat> Swing up here just means that you guys are just kind of going through the motions. It's just a drill. No. What you guys have to do is I need to be focusing on her temple. She needs to be focusing on my temple. The strikes should be right here, right? Because when I strike, when I strike, we should be able to meet there, right? Because if you're swinging up here, Well, who's up there? Right? Unless you find somebody like Rob, your head is not, it's not that high up. So, look, I need you guys to concentrate. I need you guys to pay attention, right? Do not go through the drill as if I'm just going through the motion, right? Everything has to have an intention, right? And I say this time and time again. See, so when I look at her temple, she looks at the So to break that, this is what we're gonna do. One person is gonna get a stick. This person is gonna concentrate on doing heaven six, right? That way, she's not following my stick that I'm feeding up. So for her, she just needs to concentrate, and I need to just be able to pick it up. One, two, three. going through it, see, and I can pick it back up. So what this forces her to do is that she has to concentrate, right? You guys have to concentrate specifically on what you're doing. You cannot just go through these drills as if it's just a drill and I'm just getting through, you know, going through the motion. You guys have to concentrate and you guys have to pay attention, right? You have to have attention, right? And you have to have purpose, right? My whole purpose is that I'm going to hit her head, I'm going to hit her head, she's going to hit my head. Okay? All right, let's do this. Okay, so part of the problem is why you guys, so what's happening is you guys are now struggling, right? Because it's, it's so much easier when you know you're doing the mirror drill. See, when the mirror is drill, you just know that you're always going to get that contact, you're doing the mirror, right? But now, this throws you off with a single stick because you're no longer in the mirror, right? So if you guys are struggling, that's, that's a good thing, right? Or that what I'm seeing is, it's forcing you guys now to concentrate. Whereas when it's a mirror drum, you guys can blow through heaven six, right? Just go through it and have fun. Now, the person who's doing heaven six is struggling because they're so used to seeing the mirror and just making that contact, right? Does it make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other struggle is the person who has a single stick, right? Because you're so used to doing a mirror drill, you no longer have that second weapon. Now you're, you're trying to keep up with the rhythm, right? You see, as for her, it doesn't matter what I say. She, she can keep going, right, and I can pick it up. Right? Go off. As long as she's concentrating, if she's 
stick into what she has to concentrate, I should know where that strike should be in whenever I want to enter back in, right? So if you guys are struggling, it's a good thing. But what I'm trying to force you guys to do is now concentrate specifically on what am I doing, right? There's an intention, there's a purpose behind why you're training your double stick. So it makes sense? So now we'll just switch the other side and then we let the other person start. Okay. So now we're gonna do it on, on the standard. Now this is gonna make you even concentrate more because you're so used to getting that contact, right? So the, the benefit of this is that the person with the single stick, I'm working my broken strikes, right? So see? Okay, let's work there. Just to kind of throw the brain and kind of train different, but now it's a different movement because now my timing is you're going from high to low in the broken strikes, right? Because we're so used to doing a lot of fluid strikes or fluid, fluid, but now you're working your broken strikes. All right, let's go. You guys have worked. Broken strike is a single. And the person that's with the double stick is working in every six. So as you can see, she's concentrating, right? Regardless of what I do, right? She's still going, right? So you see the difference? Then when we're doing heaven six, if I'm feeding, I got to raise the stick. She might also follow the other because her, she's concentrating on looking at the stick. Also, what happens is when I'm feeding, as I move up, she'll move up. What that tells me is that she's watching my stick and she's not concentrating on the objective. The objective is I should be concentrating on hitting her head and hitting her hands. Right? So in actuality, when we're doing this, going. If I step back, now I will be targeting her hands, right? My form has to change. I just changed the elevation. Does that make sense, right? So the key about doing a double stick is that you guys have to have intention and purpose of why you're doing this drill. Because then what happens is you just get lazy and you just go through the motion, right? And then you guys miss the opportunity to understand how does that translate into your empty hand? How does it translate into your double line? Right? So, when you guys have struggled with that, but now it's going to force you that when you guys start pairing up, you guys start concentrating. So, what we're going to work now is bisecting the line. Now, we're going to be even more offensive line. Right? So, we're going to look to strike in between the beats. So, if she goes slow, that's a full beat. Right? Everyone sees this. This is a full beat, right? Well, what's the purpose of doing a full beat? Why should I match her on a full beat, right? I should be focusing on being offensive, so I would be looking to strike on the half beat. So striking on the half beat would be I'm striking in between. So everybody see how I'm bisecting the line. So if she goes slow, one, two, three. See how I'm striking in between the beat, right? All I'm doing is I'm bisecting the line, it's just that I'm striking on the half beat, right? You guys understand the difference between a half beat and a full beat, right? This means that I'm inserting a strike in between their follow-up steps, right? So let's look at it like this. She strikes, right? It's offensive. This is offense. I meet her, right? It's counter offense. When she continues, I strike in between and three counter offense. You guys understand, right? So you guys are going to work. You guys are going to step back. 
Now you guys are going to be looking to strike in between the beat. What I need to do is you guys need to concentrate on well, what are you hitting? Or are you just swinging the stick, you know, randomly? No, I'm hitting the hand, I'm hitting the hand, I'm hitting the head, right? Once we get through that, once we get through that, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work feeding in your thrusting, right? So look. So you guys see, this is all full beat. Look. See? As soon as she strikes, boom, I'm thrusting right in between. Does it make sense? Right? Instead of this, we can be here all day. If we're playing, if we're matching the beat for you, no. Thrust. Slash. Thrust. Thrust. Slut. See? Right? So, I need you guys to go. Slow, step back, strike in between the half beat, then you can come back in, and then go to brush on the half beat. The next stage is then we would have to move. All right, let's go, guys. So just understand. Reason why we trouble, you know, we train the double sticks. You guys, I, the biggest thing is about understanding the concept and the principle. So we're talking about striking on the half beat, right? So the half beat is real. All it is is you're in, just inserting another strike before he can get his second strike off, right? So if he was to throw a punch, one, two, that's a full beat, right? You guys, see the difference, right? One, two, and I, when I throw. That allows him to pick it up, right? One, two, and then I come back. Picks up, picks up, picks up the, picks it, right? Two, okay, ready? One, two, one, two, right? Full beat, right? Half beat would be, you see the difference, right? This strike comes, and I get another strike in before this one comes out. Does it make sense, see? Okay, let's go. You see the difference? Right? Whereas if I go one and then I wait, now I have to strike where that allows him to, to get a, a, another strike in. But half beat would be, see? Straight, straight, straight. Ready? Boom. Boom. Right? I get in before that comes. That's, that's the half beat. Right? Even if I want to go, ready? To the eye. See, my distraction to the eye. This is all half beat. The reason why you want to do half beat is we want to be offensive. If we're trading um, full beats, then it prolongs the fight, right? If he strikes, I go right to the eye. See, that's a half beat, right? A full beat would be he strikes, he pulls his, his punch back, and then I and then I go to the eye. It's a full beat. Half beat would be, see, right to the eye to interrupt this secondary strike. Does it make sense? Okay, guys. Go ahead. One more. The half beat into the eye when he throws the punch. So the half beat, this would be a full beat, and then he pulls it back, and then I go to the eye. That's a full beat. Half beat would be his strike is coming. I go to the eye before this comes out and before that goes back, right? So this, look, just this and come back, that's a full beat. Just the jab alone and back, it's a full beat. The jab comes, I strike to the eye before that goes back as a half beat. 
Or the half beat can be, he strikes, and before he can get that cross out, I go to the high. So I'm attacking in between his attacks. Does it make sense? Okay. All right. But for a purpose, all right? This is the benefit for double sticks. Increasing is being ambidextrous. Instead of being one side dominant, you can fight from both sides. But each hand can be doing something. This is, if there's a secret to Bikini Tertia, then that's where the secret is. The double sticks, the double knives, right? Being able to be ambidextrous and being able to use both, both hands, right? Because there's no purpose in only being good in training or fighting on one side, you should be able to fight on both sides, right? Anyone knows the reason, right? If you only fight one side, Dominate and that side gets hurt, you need to be able to switch, right? Even just switching your lead and switching sides can throw the fight, can throw some off. So don't overlook the importance of the whole double six, the whole training, okay? All right, guys, I'll bow out. Okay, so we just finished training double stick against single stick. What we worked on is concentrating on the precise angles and the intention. Other thing that I introduce to the students today is actually striking in between the half beat. So that's striking in between two full beats and inserting different strikes. What we want to do is we want to build more of an offensive mindset of striking in between before, during, and after each strike. The other thing that we also introduce is bisecting the lines, right? That is a, a common concept of the Kitty Tertia. So we allow the person with the single stick to allow thrusting in between half beat and bisecting the lines. Um, we want to build more an offensive combat mindset instead of just being in a drill mode and just thinking about reacting based on what they see on the stick. Um, me having the single stick against the person with the double stick my job is to put him on defense. Instead of watching what he's doing, then we're just kind of, we're doing like defense, defense. Lastly, what we did is we showed the concept of the half beat in the empty hand, which is striking in between a full beat, whether it's, you know, it's between a jab and a cross, striking in between, the inserts can be anything. It could be to the eyes, it can be to the elbows, it could be a headbutt. This is, more putting more the concept and into the application.